Why is this thing... Figures. Are those elevators over there? No way to know if they're working or not from here. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. Stairs leading down. They're blocked by the grate, though. But this here seems accessible. So we can open it? Uh, I think it's locked, too. Look. What's this mark? The female symbol? Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? They reference many of the solar bodies. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. Hmm. Hold on. Where's Seven? Ah, there he is, down that hallway. This way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm, I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Oh, wow. Is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Well, this is troubling. It seems we are once again locked in. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit then. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. Bakura, you ever played Jubei? No, I've never. All right then, how about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Got it? Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a nine. The weakest hand is a zero. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Well, maybe half of it. Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. Thank you. 
This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach Sea Deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. Everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D-deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them, and another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. That was a pretty good one, kid. Oh, oh, would you watch it, man? Whoo, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff? Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> Seven! Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right this time. Uh, there are doors here too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. Why? <laughs> hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge. And empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight, there's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> yep, locked. Just naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out.
No, nothing. How about the red on door seven? And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I could think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The bottom? Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? June! Ace! Santa! Clover! A and Lotus! Guess everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah. At least, I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down. Just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. It, no, I, I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Huh, a bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12. Huh, twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. 
But we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, just maybe? <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant? Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... he couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right. I'll take this direction. <laughs> Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right. We should go too. Yes, let's but Let's see. How about the casino? Okay. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? 
even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we five plus six plus eight plus seven, the digital root of 20... Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three plus four equals... Ten. And one plus zero equals... The digital root for the... That's right. And you know the number... Of course I know that. No! Are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. No. Wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... That's just... Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right. We're... Let's go take a look. Are you all right? <laughs> look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... Alone. Alone. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, um... Why are you still here? Did you hear me? Uh, huh? Fine, forget it. All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> we really need to find Snake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? Hey, uh, why don't we go back to Sea Deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about...
about that was... Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Why don't we go back to the big hospital room? Okay, let's go then. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the ray. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Maybe there's someone else on this ship with us. You mean someone hiding here? Yeah, well, well I mean, it's just an idea. You're saying this mystery person fixed the Reds? Yeah. Why? That's... um... I don't know. Seems unlikely. Why? I don't know. Just a feeling. Hard to believe Zero would bring in a secret tenth player. I mean, the name of the game is the Nonary Game, for Christ's sake. You know what Nonary means, right? It means nine. No, that's not what I meant. I mean more like someone who's been living here for a long time. Or someone who... like stayed here seriously that's even more ridiculous why do you think zero would leave them alone so in other words one of us is the person who fixed the red bingo we have a winner but if that's true then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it yeah but why no idea maybe if they come clean on that it means we'd find out something else something bad Something bad? Don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You've gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, uh, hey, Clover. 
your brother, has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you, each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we gonna find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> hmm. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it! I'll figure it out on my own! Ace! Come on, Ace! Please stand up! You can't give up yet! We just have to sit down together and think about this! We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here! <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace! Say something! I'm alright. How are you alright? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful... later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... Myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? I just like to sleep. No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... 
I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? <laughs>